Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Owasi. I'm the founder at Outreach Genius. And in this video, I'll be showing you how Outreach Genius works so you can use this to start creating personalized outreach messages for LinkedIn. Now, this is a mind blowing tool that we've created. It's free for now. And we really want you to use this to start growing your business. So let's dive into how it works. So of course, you want to go to the uh, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome store to uh, set this up and install it for yourself. Now, uh, if you do uh, install it, usually this will click, this will show remove from Chrome. But if you've not installed it, then of course, it will show install into Chrome. And uh, as you can see here, we have a number of users and you know, this has been a, a fun journey for us uh, to create. So let me show you how this will work on LinkedIn once you've actually created it. So you need to go onto LinkedIn for this to work. And when you go onto LinkedIn, you see this little icon here that shows that it is working. If for some reason you can't see that, you just want to click on this little uh, extensions button here and you should see that uh, somewhere here. And then you can pin this so that it shows up uh, on your on your bar and then you can interact with it that way uh, and that's how it would work now for you to actually start really using this you need to click on someone's profile for this to actually start to work so let's for example click on current profile here current is a good friend of mine and um so you want to click on this little uh, icon here and this will show the profile of the person you've opened up and there are a few things we need to do first so the first thing we need to do is we need to uh Go into profile here. I'm gonna add uh, a signature. Now, if you if you're just starting with this, uh, this is what what it would look like. There'll be no signature available, so you will need to create a signature. So you need to click on plus here and then create a signature. So signature is basically the name that it will sign each message message as, and you can create as many names as you want and as many signatures as you want. So in this case, for example, I will just say my name, which is most likely what you will use. And the reason why we have this option here is because at our agency we do this on behalf of our clients and we're able to create multiple signatures for multiple clients that we run these campaigns with. So we'll then save here. And that's pretty much it. Once we've saved that, we want to go back and then we want to go into message settings. Now, you will see a couple of things here, and these are offers that I have created already. So I'm just going to delete this for the sake of this example here. So if you basically... The offer is you explaining what you do so that the AI can understand what you do and can create those personalized messages to incorporate what you do, your service, your business, uh, the service your business is offering to other people. So you want to make sure that you create a new offer. Now, you want to name your offer. So for this one here, we'll just say this is a test offer just because we're using it as test. And then the signature here, you want to pick the signature that you created in the previous step. And then you want to fill this out. Who do you help? So online B2B companies, right, is who I help. What problem do you solve for them? Uh, book more qualified appointments. So that's what we do at our agency. And then how do you solve the problem? Uh, leveraging... AI uh, appointment setting system, which is again what we do, right? And then what's the call to action? Well, I want them to book a call. That's the call to action. And then now I'm going to save this offer. Now it knows this is my offer. Now you want to make sure that you actually click on the offer that you want it to activate. What I mean by that is you want it to um, know that this is the offer that I want. And of course, you can toggle between multiple offers, but you want to click on the offer that you want it to know. And of course, you can exit the offer. You can delete the offer. If you delete the offer, it deletes everything. So you have to create it again. So make sure you do that carefully. Now, let's go back and actually start creating the real message. So there are various types of messages you can create. You can create an email message. You can create connection request message, build report, make offer, follow up. So in this scenario, let's say you want to create an email email message. By the way, on LinkedIn, email messages are like code email messages, if you will. So I can create that and the tone of voice, you can choose from these options. I always love either friendly or humorous. Let's go friendly here. Relationship, you can click, tick, uh, uh, choose any of these options here. So let's just say friends here because I know Corinne. And then the length of the message here, you can go any of this medium. And the language, of course, we have a few options here. You can go English. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to actually generate the message. Now, what our software is doing is, is looking through Corinne's information 
finding all the things that you know, we know about her and then using that to create a personalized outreach message, also factoring everything I said about my offer. So for example here, I went to draw by and say, hi, you've done a great job in driving new Manitoba, Manitoba's, uh, new media Manitoba's growth. As you can see here, uh, that's where she is uh, and that's what she does. I'm sure you can relate to the challenges of helping digital media companies achieve their goals. How about I take some of that load off your shoulders by introducing our AI appointment system? You see that? That's basically what I created in my offer when I was making that setting. It helps you leverage intelligent automation or technology to book more qualified appointments faster. And then remember how I said the call to action is let's set up a call. That's what is factory in here. And then it has all of that information. So what I can do here is I can then say, okay, that's, you know, this is good. I'm happy with it. If I'm not happy with it, I can generate the message again and change some of these parameters here. And then I can send the message if I want. And, you know, uh, if I send a message, I can, it would have all of that in here. I can just copy that and put that in here and, and send a message. Now, uh, that's kind of how it works. And then if you do send a message, uh, you can also just uh, uh, click on this. Did you send a message tab here to, to kind of uh, confirm that you sent the message? Let's try it one more time to create a connection request message. So let's say I want to create a connection request message and it's you no know, friendly and the relationship is um, have met, length is medium, and the language is English. Again, I can create a connection request message. And uh, this again generates a message. And if I've sent it, I wanna just click on this little thing here to show that I've sent it. And then that will track in my statistics. So let me show you how the statistics work. So if you go into a message setting, you'll be able to see the statistics for each offer. Basically, it's tracking the amount of messages you're sending per offer. And if you go in here, you will see uh, the, the amount of message, connection request messages you've sent this week and uh, no, total email messages and other messages again. So this, again, just very interesting features for you to track the amount of, and volume of messages you've sent. And that's pretty much it. That's how it works. Again, this is very, very helpful. It helps you generate those personalized outreach messages so you can start booking more appointments for your business. If you do have any questions or anything that you need clarity on, email uh, me. You can email me personally, david at acobusinessacademy.com. You will see that somewhere on the screen uh, on the Google Chrome store to reach out to me. Uh, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you do have. I hope you enjoyed the tool. If you have any feedback, I'm always welcome to hear them. And uh, you have a fantastic day.